Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to use camera in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's create new background layer with solid. Add name background and color choose black for now. And move to behind of layers and go to effects presses search effect fill. Select fill use for background layer and choose color like this. Click OK and select background. Let's control D for duplicate and change name grid. Go to fill, let's delete fill effect and effects presses search effect grid and choose grid let's use for solid layer and size form let's choose here with slider and change slider okay and opacity let's change opacity like this so let's lock both layers and select these photoshop layers and click toggle switch mods click this icon for turn on through the layers and let's right mouse new and viewer so we have two views let's first view choose here 100 fit up to 100 and second view let's change this to top and select this layer 4 press p and move to back we can see layer here and let's move to back more and select layer 2, press P and move to back with Z axis. Okay, and layer 1, press P and also move to back. And let's move to left. So select layer 1, press S and change scale. Let's move to down, let's change scale more. And select layer 2, press S, change scale like this, and move to down. And layer 3, let's move right. Okay, layer 2, let's move right more. And layer 4, press S and change scale, move to down. Let's we'll change scale more. And layer 1, let's again change scale for beautiful view. Okay, and layer 2, let's move to right and layer 4, move to left. So, in this time, let's close these settings and Let's close this second view and search effect black and white. Let's choose black and white, use for layer 3. Okay, we can change like this for more lighting and copy black and white effect. Select this layer 4, Control V for pass and layer 2, pass effect and layer 1. And right now, let's create new camera tool. And choose here, press it 15 millimeters and click OK. And select camera, let's right mouse, go to camera and create orbit node. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Click station tool and press P. Let's change axis. Let's change axis like this. Again, let's select this layer. 2, let's press S, change scale and move to down and layer 3 or layer 4, press S, change scale, move to down like this and layer 1, press S, change scale and move to down. Let's select this layer 4. Move to center like this and layer 2, move to right and change scale. So, 
also layer 3 moved right a little bit and in this time we can create camera animation select camera and press P let's zoom in in our first character and move to like this okay and in this time let's move to right this first character and create new person in frame go to two seconds and move to left select two frames and make it easy or click f9 and preview animation okay back to two frames select last two frame move to left and first two frame of the right four more smoothly let's move to left more okay back to two frames select last two frame of the right and go to 5 seconds and change camera z axis also let's move to like this change z axis okay and move to right let's see okay select these two frames go to graph editor and select this middle two frame move to right and preview again okay for stopping two frames let's select this middle two frame right mouse go to two frame velocity and click continue checkbox and change speed 100 click ok and let's see okay we can choose this middle two frame and move to up a little bit so we can see here smooth continue camera animation it's good let's right mouse again two frame velocity and change this 400 let's see results okay that's good So in this time, let's back to two frames and select last two frame, move to right for more slow animation. Okay, and go to again five seconds. Let's hold shift and move to back with Z axis. And move to like this. Okay, and select work area. Let's see animation. Select two frames, go to graph editor, again select this middle two frame, move to right, and right mouse, two frame velocity, and right here, 200, and continue lock. Click OK. OK, that's good. And let's select this middle two frame, again velocity, right here, 400. okay that's good and back to two frames and go to again five seconds again change the axis and let's move to like this okay not bad let's see nice and go to graph editor select this two frame move to right And let's right mouse, Q frame velocity again, click checkbox, right here, 250, click OK. OK, let's see. So, not bad, let's add something for more dynamic animation. Go to pen tool, hold this icon and choose convert vertex tool. And go to first second here. We can see this line for Q frame. Let's hold this Q frame and make smooth for smooth transition let's see okay this is very smooth and next we can make this smooth let's hold this point and make smooth also like this okay let's select work area okay that's good 
and here again we can add smooth let's go to this point and make like this and select work area let's see okay this is very smooth i like it there is not any stopping g frames and more dynamic so let's select this camera and open settings and camera options and click for turn on default field okay and change aperture 100 and blur lever let's see okay let's in this time let's create focus distance keyframe and go to here and change distance like this and go to back let's zoom in here and change distance for quality character okay so in this time let's create aperture and blur lever go to here and let's change blur level like this and aperture okay we can change blue level a little bit like this okay so in this time let's select few frames move to here and make it easy go to here and change focus distance and next keyframe here let's change distance like this and go to here create aperture and blur level go to next keyframe and change aperture like this okay not bad let's see full animation so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good day good luck